That's right, folks. Don't know how to tell you. The end of days is coming for the reserve list. The end of all things. Be prepared. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to the end days. The end of all things reserve list. The, the, the apocalypse is here. Can you believe that? They actually have a set called apocalypse. Think about that. What has happened? Now that my tracking is nearing its finality and this piece of information has been gathered, I can tell you, this reserve list buyout is like none other. Like none other. People who have never bought reserve list are buying. People who usually buy one or two are buying five and six. Cards you may need one in your deck, people are buying five, so they have a little extra just in case. So they can reinvest and buy later, so they can sell those cards down the line. Which of course forces the prices up of new cards that people want. Oh, I don't have a copy artifact, I want one. Oh, they went from 30 bucks to 200 bucks. This stuff happens. But it has never happened on a scale like this in a buyout. I've been through all the buyouts that have happened over the years. Most times as a minor investor myself, just buying and playing the game. Never to this level though. And now that I've actually seen all the information, I spent all weekend tabulating and formulating how I'm gonna put this video together for you. You realize what this has really become. And it is like an end of days. Because the cards have become, like some cards went up from like a dollar to let's say a hundred dollars. Think about that percentage jump. A 50 cent card became a four dollar card. I know that doesn't seem like much, but in terms of percentage where a card has never done that before, any card in that reserve list now, consider it bought out. Any card that's left are the new jacked up prices. And we're gonna show some of those today. We're gonna go over some of this today. So players have a better understanding and the people who watch my channel get this information and understand how they should be looking at things. You should not be selling. You should be holding your cards. Do not take advice from me as a guy in my basement with a stack of magic cards behind me. Don't worry about these sealed products behind you. It's nothing. I'm the man behind the mask and the Wizard of Oz. I'm the wizard back there saying, don't look at me. Don't take advice from me. I know nothing. I'm not a financial advisor. I didn't take Magic 101. Never graduated from Magic University. Didn't happen. But the information I'm going to share with you is pretty shocking. I finished adding things up. It's never going back to normal. That is my prediction. Listen to what I'm telling you. It's never going back to normal. This is the new norm. This is it. How does it feel? Look around your room. Look at your binder with your reserve list cards. Did you get enough? Did you get the ones you wanted? Because the prices from here on in are the new price memory. This is the new world that you're entering. It's no one's fault. I'm not even going to blame investors like the people on my channel or myself. I wanted some of those cards. I'm not going to blame new players coming in who can't get them. Sorry, you were too late. I'm not going to blame wizards for producing cards they're not going to reprint. I'm not blaming anyone for the situation. I'm saying this is where we're at. You've knocked on the door. You've walked through it. This is where you are. Welcome to the new world where reserve list boxes are going to start at $5,000. It's going to happen. Because as people pick off these last few remaining ones and the prices just keep like going like a stepping ladder and go higher and higher, because after you sell it, you're never going to sell for the same price. You want more. And after that person buys it, they want more. So the ladder just keeps going up. Oh, you, you want a library Alexandria? $5,000 to start. 10000 in a couple of years. Oh, you want to get a mox. Unlimited start at 10000 Get ready for it. You like that chaos over for a thousand? Sorry, it's five thousand now. Contract from below, sorry, five hundred bucks. Every price is gonna go up, it's not gonna stop. It may slow down sometimes, it may look like it's retracing a bit, but you're retracing on a card that's gone up a thousand percent. And that's just crazy. Take a look at some of these cards here, guys. When you're looking right now on my screen, you're seeing a sold side as well as a listing side. 
Soul ones five, six, and there's a foreign language for 295. But look what people are asking for sliver queens. That is a sliver queen, guys. Card was only 150 bucks last year. Look at the percentage increase from 2020 to 2021. Look where it's gone up. Enjoy the ride. Because that card's not done. That's stronghold. It's not coming back. That sliver queen is going to 1,000 to start and only goes higher the better condition ones you have. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. This is the end of days. Get ready for it. The sky is falling. Chicken little is spoken. I'm sorry you feel that way. You still watching? Did you make it this far in the video? Because we're not done. How about this one? Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's, let's take a look here. Somebody got two of them for 879 That's like 400 bucks a pop. That was on March 11th. Look what people are asking for now, as of today. $700 a card? 700 bucks. Lion's Eye Diamond's going to 2000 by the way. That's where my thing settles out. So, 2000 bucks, man. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just a guess. Educated guess, but still a guess. Judging from what I've seen. Depends on how many people want it. There's some things I can't factor in, but... There's no reason. If it reaches 500, it can reach 1,000. If it can reach 1,000, it can reach 2,000. That's how these old cards work. Remember, if you can make 5 bucks, you can make 10. If you can make 10, you can make 20. The sky's the limit. It depends on how hard you want to work. These cards want to work. They want to go higher. Which means, yeah, they're not going to be for everyone. It's going to be a page in the history books, a style card. I know that hurts to hear that, guys, but these are the facts. As I'm laying them out. Gay as Cradle. You guys know I want one. Here's some that's sold. Look, there's, there's one for $250 for uh, basically a fancy proxy. Right? I don't have a problem with people using them, but hey. Japanese one for $880. Hey, there's a $5.5 for $1,000. Oh, look what people are asking for now. That That's a BGS 9 for $2,200. There's a $1,300. There's, there's a slight plated near mint for $1,200. Think about that. Last year, it was a $500 card, $600. It was slowly creeping up. Look at the increase in that value and tell me this isn't the end of days for those who hope to get these cards. You're done. You're out of your league. The train left the building. I had the boat buy it where it was sailing off into the ocean. You missed that one. If you guys didn't catch my videos back then, which is a few months ago, if you're new to my channel, I'm sorry you weren't watching me earlier. You could have learned something. You could have maybe been informed a little bit sooner. Could have told you which cards were going. Not just the guys who say, oh, this card's going up. Oh, I can tell you which ones are leaving the market. You got to track it more carefully. You got to look what you're doing. Oh, but they're going. They're going. And another one. Oh, oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. We're still, we're moving up here. We're moving up. Copy artifact. Remember this one? One of my heyday fun cards. Somebody sold one for 88 bucks still. 88 bucks on the 25th. Now, nah, sure, it has, you know, 25 bucks shipping and stuff, but this card was 30 bucks in December. 30 bucks in December. Still going higher. By the way, it's going to 500, just so you know. Hold on to them if you got them. It's going to 500. I think when people realize what you're seeing in the marketplace and how bad the cards want to move even higher, but they're being held in check right now. They're still climbing, but buyers and sellers are not meeting at the new price levels. Price memory is having a hard time for people to catch up to, but it's going to happen. Every day that these prices stay at this level, your mind as a buyer and seller stay, just basically tells you this is where it has to stay. It's got to stay here. No, nope, can't go lower. It's got to stay here. Hence why I say it's end of days. The retrace that some of these YouTubers out there were predicting is not happening. Those who are tracking the prices like me, I don't think they're looking close enough. I think they're missing out on something. I could be wrong. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Just doesn't seem like I'm wrong to me when I'm seeing what's going on. Wizards moving into this whole chase card era, which realize they realize how good it is to have cards that are chase cards for their bottom line. They see the reserve list, guys. They know what's going on. And just for like insult to injury, Dwarven Pony was 25 cents. It was six bucks that sold on the 25th of March. 
Think about that. That's Dwarven Pony. That's a pony. It was 25 cents. Now it's six bucks. Look at, look at that disparity there. Think about that. It's crazy to think about. I know. I understand. Thrill Champions. I bought them for 50 cents. Five, six, seven dollars. It's still going. Is it going to be a $50 card one day? All it would take is... We all know Wizards prints cards sometimes. They actually, you know, they make a habit of printing cards. If they put Thrills back out there, a card like Thrill Champion will go through the roof. People don't realize. They don't have the forethought to look that far ahead to see what's going on. And it has come to bite stores really hard. And certain players who didn't look ahead, it bit them kind of hard. So welcome to the end of days. I hope you enjoyed your walk around our new landscape of burning expensive cards. But for those of us who got in and bought some of these cards, kudos to us. Because we did the right thing. We just said, ah, let's buy one or two. Ah, it's only five bucks, let's buy one. For those of us who did that, even when people made fun of us, and thought we were silly, congratulations to all of us. Hold your cards. Don't sell. There will be players who have to sell. There will be. But they're going to be looking for a certain price point. It's not going to meet up with your price point. So guys, tell me what you think. I'd love to know. Thanks a lot for tuning in. This is MTG Mox, man. And who knows? Tomorrow's another bright day in Canada. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys. Have a great one. It's a Dwarven Pony! Alright guys, welcome back to all my awesome patrons out there. Yes, a new month is starting. Patrons will have a new listing up as soon as I get all the payments tabulated. Okay guys, thanks a lot. And yes, new patron slots, April 1st. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So W's were $9 Canadian in January. Now they're like 30 to 90 dollars.